I want to speak over everyone here. The arrows of bloodshed, the arrows of bloodshed over you and over your loved ones, we command it returns back to hell. No one, no one under the sound of my voice will be a victim of bloodshed. Number two, everybody connected to you by physical descent or by responsibility for your sake, I declare that they are supernaturally preserved. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your finances. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I cry by God that this night may help arise for you from his sanctuary may help arise for you from his sanctuary you will not beg in the name of jesus god will use men god will use systems to make for your supplies number four i decree and declare that even in this season hear me koinonia nothing dies in your hand nothing dies in your hands in the mighty name of Jesus if there is anybody here appointed unto death that there is any manifestation of a curse or any manipulation of the spirit of death that in the realm of the spirit they've concluded over you or your children whether through the elections or any other means I knock on the door of death and I command it to be far from you far from your habitation hallelujah every time there is famine every time there is economic and political turbulence one of the mysteries in the kingdom that preserves God God's people is favor can I speak over your life in the name of Jesus the son of the living God you belong to a family that has been marvelously helped by God I pray experience favor I pray for you experience favor experience favor favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west two more prayers I want to place a grace on you that causes those who need what you carry to look for you in the name of Jesus whether it is an anointing or a gift a skill any kind of value that can make you to be of demand and to live a rewarded life I stir up that gift by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ let those who have an appreciation for what you carry I compel them to locate you I compel them to engage you and I compel them to reward you in the name of Jesus Christ Finally, let me pray for your spiritual life and your walk with God. At times of political, economic turbulence, we call them perilous times. Many believers, if they do not manage their, their faith process, they find out that their spiritual lives begin to decline, either because of laxity or discouragement. Anytime things look like it is not the way you want economically, politically and otherwise that is not the time to run away from the things of God it is a time to run closer for the Bible declares that the name of the Lord is a strong tower it says the righteous man runneth to it and he is saved let me pray for your prayer life let me pray for your word study life let me pray for your appetite for spiritual things it will not go down 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 in the name of Jesus this week I release you a sign and a wonder I release you a savior I release you a witness I release you ambassadors of the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ may no one despise the anointing and the mantle upon your life 
For in Jesus' name we pray. Part of the miracle service, I'd like you to begin to declare whilst you are sitting or standing, inside or outside, once you can hear me, those following online, declare, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In the name of Jesus, kept by his word, lifted by his grace. My path is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter onto the perfect day. Don't be distracted. Everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. In the name of Jesus. When men say there is a casting down. I declare in Jesus name that there is a lifting. There is a rising up. In the name of Jesus. Premature death will never, never have its toll on my life. The fullness of my days I fulfill. I shall not be a victim of the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted in noonday. Are you speaking? Declare by the Spirit. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify by the power of God. Fortify. Pray, pray. Don't look around. Fortify by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Declare by the Spirit. I refuse to be a victim in the name of Jesus. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. Every tree that has not been planted by God is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of the Lord is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of God, appearing as ill health, appearing as disease, is rooted from my life. I reject failure. I reject failure. I reject failure in the name of Jesus Christ. My life is full of victory. I reject failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is lifting me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is working for me. It's producing supernatural results in my life in the name of jesus i am a sign and a wonder by the power of the word i am a sign and a wonder i declare by the spirit i am a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ declare over your children declare over your family declare over your job declare over your business declare over ministry Declare over your finances. The 
the wisdom of the spirit is at work in me. In the name of Jesus, supernatural ideas, everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. I prosper in the name of Jesus. I prosper even as my soul prospers. I'm growing in the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, growing in the world, growing in power, growing in wisdom, growing in lips and bounds. Never a worse tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Don't be tired. It's part of the miracle service. You are declaring spiritual realities. You are commanding them to be. You are commanding them to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is how it works in this kingdom. You are in business. Get into your store. Close the place and begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, I call for customers. I call for helpers. I have put all. You are a ministry. You are a man of God. Don't sit down and let your ministry go down. Don't sit down and let the devil triumph over you. Go and lock that church. Only you inside. Or you and your prayer partners or prayer warriors. And begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual gates of this church is open. Open to receive souls. Open to receive as many who will be changed. Who will be saved whether in Zaria or whatever nation there are still enough people seeking Jesus it's Bishop Oyedeko who will say a closed mouth is a closed destiny it's not a cliche it's true don't keep quiet and then complain about what is happening to you never outgrow speaking the word Never say, I am too big. Never outgrow speaking the word. Believe me, never outgrow speaking the word. Never, those who already have results are still doing it. Don't outgrow it. Never outgrow speaking the word. Every time you are faced with negative situations, before you start calling people who cannot help you, the first thing you do is make sure your voice is registered in the realm of the spirit. I'm coming out of this. You are in a financial situation in the name of Jesus. It will not have the best of me. The wisdom of God is at work in me. I'm coming out of this situation. How will your school fees come? How will your rent be paid? How will you complete the house? In the name of Jesus, one thing I know is that the wisdom of God is at work in me. The ministry of destiny help us at work in my life. Hallelujah. Listen, nobody is blessing you. Nobody is coming by God to help you. Everybody is leaving you to suffer alone. Don't keep quiet. You may not have money, but talk is. To pray is not, you don't need money to pray. Lock yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, I am not lazy. While I am trusting you to give me ideas that lift me, destiny helpers are real. I call them by the Spirit. You are praying faithful, provoking prayer. Many believers sit down and live defeated lives. And yet scripture is here to guarantee your increase. For as long as I live, my mouth will not be silent over my destiny. I will speak. And what you speak must be scripture for it to work. If you speak what your tribal people believe, it will not work. If you speak what society says, it will not work. The voice of lamentation does not produce results. It is a word. Are we together? All of a sudden you sense that a pain is coming here and the devil starts lying to you. It's midlife crisis. Something is already beginning to happen. Oh, you are a man. Maybe prostrate cancer. Oh, you are a woman. Maybe something is happening. In the name of Jesus, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My brother, my sister, if, if you don't begin to declare, don't wait when 
when it's too late and you don't have the energy in the name of Jesus this body is prepared to serve the Lord a body has thou prepared for me therefore I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural strength is working in me you lay your hands on your mind I am not dull in the name of Jesus understanding is at work in me the spirit that gives understanding sometimes you can be confused as a leader quite honestly you don't know what to do do I go left or right instead of misleading people in pride go to God the Bible says then the secret was revealed unto Daniel Lord there has to be a way out of this there has to be a way out of this I obtain grace. How will I pay the school fees of five children? Uh, as it is right now, there is nothing in the bank. There has to be a way. I tap into the wisdom of the spirit. I forbid a frustrated Christian life. I'm not ashamed to bless you all wise. If you need a car, I release it in your life. If you need a house, I release it in your life. If you need a job, I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, I prophesy upon your life. Everything that will make you comfortable to serve the Lord, I stand upon this altar. I declare, may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and for those of you here who are in ministry and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of Jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open I break that door now help them please I break that door now listen a door is a system for access it midwives one room and another it midwives one dimension and another when that system for access is closed you can weary yourself at the door and praying again every door that has refused to allow you go forward i stand by the god of heaven let that door be broken now believe it i'm placing something on your life May that door be broken now. <laughs> Hear me. And for those of you who God gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities, is there hope for a tree? I want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where God can restore. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everything that left your life, either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now i call it back to your life now every troublemaker in your life not allowing you sleep not allowing you rise who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there manipulating them to reject you in the name of jesus i caught you away from them And everybody who asks you where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week may my God start answering them not next week this week may my God start answering them oh may the mighty God arise for you arise for your children arise for your family Let me pray for those in government leaders and politicians in this house i'm not ashamed to pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus may my god distinguish you i place an anointing upon you may god distinguish you in a way that will surprise you 
captains of industry may my god distinguish you businessmen may god distinguish you career people may god distinguish you you will become strange men and women of influence whatever makes resources run away from you i stand by the power of the prophetic and i declare over your life anywhere your resources are across the globe not just in nigeria the wisdom the favor and the stamina to attract those resources i decree and declare receive the grace for it now everybody who came here from outside this state or from outside this nation i stretch my hands to you in the name of jesus may the god of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ you hear me i pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet i speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the lord turn your life around may the lord change your story may you know him more may your christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high parakatoskadia and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but i assure you by god there is nothing i call that does not come i stand by this grace and i declare everything you have called and has refused to come i push it by prophecy he must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus give him praise father we honor you and we thank you wave your hands to jesus from side to side let him know that you have received thank you jesus the bible says with prayer with thanksgiving with thanksgiving thank you jesus you will return into a realm of strange testimonies some of you may not know what has come on your life no you didn't come to church with what is on you now i assure you by god no matter how anointed you are i am telling you what is on you now you didn't come to church with it you are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with in the name of jesus two more prayer points very quickly i want to pray for your finances please believe it don't say it is unnecessary it is very necessary especially at a time as this there is a prophetic dimension to the supplies of heaven god is able to help men as believers we have an advantage many people are financially incapacitated and it is one of the strategies of the devil it says do not be ignorant for as long as there is hunger israel will always go to egypt to look for food are we together now the only reason why israel goes to egypt is because there is no bread many of you are already at the corridors of compromise because of financial inconsistencies let me pray for you it is true 
that God can send a raven to come to Brook Cherith and bring bread for Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here under the influence of my voice going through any rough financial season by the power of the prophetic, come out of it now. 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 And I decree and declare the kind of favor that your destiny requires to scale to heights unimagined. I stand by the God who helps men, even Ebenezer. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. May help gravitate towards you. The ministry of destiny help us be activated over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, let me declare over the remaining 11 months of this year, February included, the path of the just, the Bible says it's as a shining light. That means no month should be greater, no, no, no previous month should be your greatest. The next month in progressive succession, I speak over you, March be greater than February. April be greater than March. May be greater than April. June be greater than May. July be greater than June. August be greater than July. September be greater than August. October be greater than September. November be greater than October. May December be your greatest month this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. I'm not a killer. I don't kill. But I know that I've been instructed to crush the head of any generation that is not humans. If you're offended, you can go home. Come tomorrow, I'll talk about favor later on and other things you like. But this night, if it is to rise, huh? If it is to rise in power and in life, then let me tell you, there is a generation, it is not repentance. It's not, oh God, touch their heart. If they don't repent, no, there's nothing about repentance there. These are not human beings. There's no preaching the gospel for salvation. Are we together? When they saw Jesus casting out devils, they looked at him and said, this is Beelzebub, the prince of demons. And he said, ah, if you call me Belzebel, then by who do your fathers? So there were other people casting out spirits by another agency, not Jesus. There were strange people in the Bible who were destroyed. There were other people that God would go out of his way to preach to. But there were others, that land, there was no salvation. Are you ready to pray? Tonight is a very simple prayer. If you don't know what to pray, just pray in tongues. But we are going to pray. Listen to me. Listen to me. There is a name that the Nephilim are called. Two names that will constitute our prayer tonight. One, they are called watchers. Do you know what watchers are? Huh? It is the offspring of these that we are called familiar spirits. Their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted. They are called watchers. Not watchmen. Watchers. Should I give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirits? Although in this case he was not one of the Nephilims, but they called him a madman. But that madman went to stay in a strategic cave 
when Jesus was going to the other side, the spirit said, go and meet him. Who told the madman Jesus was coming? As soon as Jesus got there, here was a madman looking at him. And the demon started to speak. Have you come to destroy us? We know you are coming to liberate this territory. But we are the watchers over this territory. The moment Jesus casted them out, immediately, somebody's business went down. Immediately. And it made them to drive Jesus out of town. They said, Jesus, leave, leave. Please leave. You are making us lose here. This place. Number two, they are called gatekeepers. You know what a gate is? It's the mystery of access that opens you up to a, whether to, to healing, to grace, to anointing. There are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers. They are not humans. They sit down and manipulate the destinies of families. Please pray, oh. When it's time to pray, it's a few minutes, but pray. Are we together? They are the ones who study all the graduates. Five people, the only person that graduates, they now kill him. And you will think it's a mistake, the gatekeepers. But tonight, ha! Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. And the seed of the woman. Shekapakata. Sheketekete. Lekaparokat. Shabaratu. Hallelujah. Listen, the watchers, they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so. So they declare over this territory, no woman marries a good man. Why? Because a good man with her will produce a good child. And that child can be an evangelist that will change that land. So they are watchers. The moment... How many of you have seen that somebody just says, I love you. Something happens. It's like a report sent in the spirit. Immediately. And something happens. Immediately. I want to give you a job. And all of a sudden, the watchers. Lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command, I command the sword of vengeance, the sword the sword of vengeance upon every entity, upon every entity manipulating my destiny, manipulating my, destiny, manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. Look at the 
Alléluia. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every door. Every door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given Satan, Satan access. To visit me. To visit me. In dreams. In, in dreams. dreams. And encounters. And encounters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That door is closed now. That door is closed, closed, closed now. Pray. Let us have Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come up from tonight. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I decree and declare. I, I decree, decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold over my life. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Just two more prayers and we are done tonight. Listen. Mm. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place, I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus I, declare, I, I declare. I declare that the gospel, that the the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please listen. 
this last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the Gospels, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness. Or they plant something in your child. You give birth to a child who becomes something else. It's not normal. We are going to pray. Listen, every sister here, when it's time to pray, lay your hands on your womb. Listen, I'm blasting tongues and pray. I will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit. Lift your voice and pray. of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as humans male or female I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare and declare let that fire separate you and them right now your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage tonight. Let fire land on that lineage tonight. Lift your hands. While she pray. The altars of impotency. The altars of barrenness. The altars. Just keep your hands lifted. Of poverty. The altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage. In many lineages represented here. Right now I decree and declare. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names 
that if there is any of those entities, please listen, I'm praying now. I'm seeing fire falling on people. That if there is any entity, whether in our villages or our homes, that is not a pure human, sent by darkness, right now, I cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies. Amen! I cause a separation between Amen! their spirits and their bodies. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen! I command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen! I command the earth to open and swallow them. Amen! Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today, I don't care whether it's position of influence. There are some of you where you are with your love for God, you should not be at that level now. But there is something programming your remaining there. Can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody? In the name of Jesus. Tonight, by this grace and unction, I declare to you, every entity holding you down, may the grave swallow them now. Amen. Every entity holding you down, may the grave swallow them now. Amen. Therefore, I prophesy to you, beginning from tonight, rise to a level you have never seen. Rise to a new dimension of influence. Rise to a new dimension of power. Hallelujah. Can I prophesy over your finances? Yes, sir. Do you believe it? The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. He said, believe in his prophets. Don't mind this, our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word. Are we together? Let me tell you something. There is something called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you. By this time, tomorrow, I'm saying it. If you have the faith to receive, I stand in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God by this time tomorrow may my God surprise you by this time tomorrow I prophesy to you I shift things I shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit I command strangers I seize their sleep may they bless you I instruct them I set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the grace just walking home and before you reach home you are already crying for joy and saying what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight Listen, listen, let me tell you something. We're rounding up. You see, before you believe a man, go and find out his track record. Don't just believe foolishly. Ask questions. This person talking like this, as he said it before, and what happened? The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. 
It's not pride. It's the truth. These seven days was designed to change us. Listen. Tomorrow I'm going to give you some instructions. Huh? By Friday, you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it. Let me see the devil. Let me see the principality. Except it is not God that ordained this ministry. You will see what my God will do. There must come a time in your life where God will shift you. If you don't shift, it's your fault. Oh, let me tell you this. Hallelujah. I'm praying over finances. We're rounding up already. I, I didn't plan to talk about this. But the Lord just put it in my spirit. It's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing. Please. It's, it's, not, it's not a ritual. We're not playing games here. But I want to pray for people who can believe. This man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of God. The Bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace. Do you understand? I can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket. This is me, a man. Talk more the God of heaven. But he is helpless until someone declares. Please, just believe me once. I beg you in the name of Jesus this night. Just be You can insult me if it doesn't happen. But just believe. I want to pray again for your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I ask my God, the God who has taken me by His grace, the God who took this ministry by His grace, I stand before His altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life. I program a climate of strange favor over your life. I program a climate. Don't ask where it will come from. You will not see the wind. You will not see rain. But I program a climate of strange favor over your life. If there is anything anyone has stolen from you, I'm prophesying. Some of you will go back home and find it there. Nobody brought it. In the name of Jesus, you will go back home and find it waiting for you there. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're rounding up. Father, bless your people tonight. In the name of Jesus. Please don't fail to testify. Your testimonies will build the faith of others. In the name of Jesus Christ. God does not forget. But men can forget. Believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away. This is the world of men. God uses men to lift. God uses men to help. The wine presser and the baker, they were both helped by Joseph. And Joseph made a plea and said, I am in this prison, but I am innocent. I don't have the power to advocate my innocence. Please, when you are reinstated, use your influence to talk to the king, the pharaoh for me. That they should come and get me out of this place. The wine presser forgot him for two years. One man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man. But the Bible says that night could not the king sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, they found there, they read it before him. And he said, Who is in the chamber there? Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so 
I want to pray for you now. When I came into this city, I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight Paratu shakete barako tiyata. Many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten. They do ministry as if they are not called. Many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten. Many of you here, you played major roles in the rising of people in this city. And as it is, no one seems to pay attention to you. I want to pray grace on your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you, I decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now. Receive it. It departs from your life now. Hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of god through help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now i declare liberty There is a lady I'm praying for you by the spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus, right now I'm praying. Bring them out. Kaparato sheteketia. Shida bagata paruski atabadakata. Krato sheteketia. That's right. Mandika paruski kata. Epre keto shida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you, in this false spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. There are whole families that are victims of this, not just individuals. I'm still praying. I don't know why God is showing me women. I know that this affects both men and women, but I'm seeing women. I'm still praying right now. Every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you 
does not arrive right now in the hapakatosh kate bakata shapen dekete baratu ziata be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look at me I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and I want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the Bible says in the book of Esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the Bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten I'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can I tell you this God does not forget but men can forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men God uses men to lift God uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by Joseph and Joseph made a plea and said I am in this prison but I am innocent I don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the wine presser forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now
Hear me. This man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God to help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices I will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered I uh, will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of Jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of Jesus Christ we'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time he says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between November and the end of this year in the help them my God help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between November I'm saying it by prophecy I stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace. May your help not escape December 2021. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. May your help, Kapatos Katebata, let it not escape December 2021. Therefore, I prophesy to the East, I prophesy to the West. I prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is I gravitate towards your destiny any organ that is failing or has failed in your body I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a brand new organ in your body now not just a healing of the current one a brand new organ in your body now blind eyes open now in the name of Jesus someone has received a miracle there is that a miracle someone from crutch the crutches are lifted is that a miracle if that's a miracle that's fine 
Otherwise, if he's lifting it by faith, he can stand there and receive. Something has happened there. Well, we promise that we will not say, oh dear. In the name that is above all names. There's someone, your right ear. It looks, I don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it. I command that ear to be open now. Every blood disease. In the name that is above all names. We declare the cleansing of your blood now. hear me please if there is anyone here with any troubling genotype i stand by the god of heaven and i declare let there be a supernatural change of your genotype <laughs> believe it in the name of jesus christ any lump in or growth in any area of your body breast lump abdominal lump lumps around your body i cause that growth right now i cause that growth right now i cause that growth right now there's someone i'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers you're not able to move your hands freely the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone with a severe pain around your kneecap you're having a severe pain around your kneecap the power of god is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ laying my hands upon these requests as a representation the most accurate representation of your desires i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be supernatural answers let there be supernatural answers now arise O oh lord would you come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we're clothed in your righteousness celebrate the bible says he that told you have asked for nothing it says ask and you will receive that your joy may be full i decree and declare whatever has robbed your joy as represented here you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again i declare unto you by the power of the word of god that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ every human agent that must come in partnership with the spirit of god to make for answers to this prayer we compel their ministry right now and whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered may their own prayer be answered In the name of Jesus Christ sincerely I pray for you may God shift systems and shift structures for the sake of your request and whoever said where is your God may God use the answers to this prayer to answer them back in the name of Jesus Christ I stand upon this request and I declare that everything that has stood over you in the name that is above all names we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we command speedy answers to this prayer in the name of Jesus speedy answers to this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ
please stand we're wrapping up let me speak finally over your life and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible says that you may abound to every good work that means whatever spiritual and gracing that will be required to make for your efficiency it is within the power of god to supply to the uttermost i decree and declare every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency every anointing every mantle every supernatural supply of grace whether as wisdom whether as favor whether as counsel whether as might whether as the grace for dominion in the name of jesus let it come upon you now whatever has left your life that should not have left the bible says son of man can these bones live again he was not even seeing the bones he was saying would live because they were scattered and fragmented he says only thou knowest then he said prophesy to these bones and the prophet said i prophesied as commanded and there was a sound i stand like ezekiel i prophesy as commanded everything that has left your life let it come back to perfect order now let it come back to perfect order now the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon never to return again i pray for you whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit in the name of jesus may god connect you to them <laughs> hallelujah exodus chapter 2 and verse 15 b and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 of the same chapter 2 and the king loved esther the bible says more than all the virgins and the bible says he took her he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashti the favor that enthrones in the name of jesus let it rest upon your life exodus 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever makes for emptiness in your hands in the name of jesus may the favor of god stop that season of drought in the mighty name of jesus I pray for you even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit the grace that makes for visibility it says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light illumination to all who are in the room many of you are gifted many of you have been marvelously helped of god but there is no visibility to announce you in business in ministry those who need what you carry do not even know you are there i pray for you right now from where you are may you rise to an elevated position of visibility <laughs> hallelujah my bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him i pray for you those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures who will not give you access because they do not like you may the father of spirits manipulate their heart to your favor in the name of jesus christ because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness 
Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I pray for you, the grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries, may that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus, have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born? It says, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. I declare speed to your accomplishments. Speed to your accomplishments. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 112 verse 1. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth. I pray for your children. In the name that is above all names, you will never give birth for sorrow. You will never give birth for pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents. We crush those spirits right now. The Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. I decree and declare not only your children but your children's children. Let the heritage of being blessed follow them. Then my Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Listen, I have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned. The prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence. The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. Is that true? And that he that waters will himself be watered. Yet, there are times like I have taught you where you can have a healthy net oh peter there are times where your boat is okay there are times you are even at sea and your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish because it is not of him that will it nor of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy at that time you need beyond your skill you need the advantage of the prophetic the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was she preserved i decree and declare by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic step into strange dimensions of the abundance of God. When they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. It says, he that receives a prophet as touching the office of that prophet, there are possibilities that follow every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven. No man sent by God comes empty. There are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor, you can be a partaker of that grace. I stand by the God who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and I pray for you. Experience the marvelous hand of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last prayer point. It says, Thou shall call Joshua, in whom there is the Spirit, and thou shalt anoint him, and thou shalt take some of thy honor and place on him. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. And there is a grace that makes for honor. Just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor. Honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life. When God places that grace upon you, even kings will entreat your favor in the name of Jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in Christ 
and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of Jesus Christ by this impartation every semblance of shame and reproach let it be torn apart and taken out of your life in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray let's celebrate Jesus with a, a, a hand clap and a shout in one minute hallelujah praise the Lord my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed That was the extra factor in the life of that gentleman. He came to church in addition to his study. A man of God declared over his life and placed something upon his life that beat us hands down. We did our best. It just did not work. The same way something is coming on you this night that when it comes upon your life even though you just came here with your intellect alone you came here with your connection but I stand before the God of heaven this grace that comes upon ordinary men and turns their lives around hear me for some of you when this grace comes upon you people who have long forgotten you believe what I tell you supernatural achievements by the spirit things will just begin to happen some of you by this grace you will step into ease ease that you may not be able to explain ease that you cannot explain you believe that when it's time to pray please no moving around don't distract yourself this is a very prophetic moment. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. The prayer point is, Lord, give me an encounter. Let this grace come upon my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray. Please pray. Supernatural. It's time to command the supernatural. Supernatural prosperity, supernatural wisdom, supernatural ministry, supernatural evangelism, supernatural business, supernatural parenting. Pray. Following online, make sure you're praying. Lord, I am ready to step into a supernatural life. The reality manifesting, commanding the supernatural. Man of God, pray. Believe 
give us praise. Let ordinary living come to an end. Ordinary ministry come to an end. Ordinary business come to an end. Ordinary parenting come to an end. I step into the realm of miracles, signs, wonders. Results that confound principalities and powers. Supernatural music ministry. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Pray. Supernatural results by the spirit of the living God. It's time to shift to shift levels in the spirit. It's time to begin to manifest the supernatural. It's time for your life to be an epistle, a testament of God's wonder working power. Are you praying? <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire fall, fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Just in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Like in the days, like in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire. Fire, 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 f
name of Jesus please listen to me I'm about to pray for you but let me tell you this in this end time those who will really carry the grace for signs and wonders must be people who are serious with Jesus very serious very hungry very passionate more than titles more than church more than emoji more than apostle more than prophet i want to pray for you now we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you Come and do what you do. Set my heart on you. So you'll do what you do. We're in a mood. This is a mood. When Peter and John came to the man at Get Beautiful, he said, silver and gold I do not have. He said, but such as I have, give I unto you. Listen to me. I don't mean to be arrogant, but let me tell you this. When it has to do with the supernatural, I know what I am saying. I have enjoyed the message of God even on this wise I know what a supernatural life will do to you your ministry your business your life it is Jesus we are looking up to but it is men that he uses I'd like you to open your heart in the next two or three minutes believe with your heart just help those under the anointing I have had many encounters in my life. I've only said a few of them. It is on the authority of scripture, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, and the privilege of these encounters. I myself have been a recipient of the graces of those that have gone ahead. It is not everything that has come just directly by my own personal encounter. We have met many people. There are those who have gone ahead, even in ministry. There are those who have demonstrated a supernatural life. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. We are not the first. You are not the first to do supernatural business. John D. Rockefeller. These are men and women who encountered grace. You are not the first to do supernatural ministry. Oh dear. Scripture and history is full of men and women who shook the earth in their lifetime. You are not the first to have a supernatural career. Ask Daniel through the reign of four kings. He remained on top. Regardless who was in power, he remained on top. There was a grace. And they said an excellent spirit, not an excellent talent, an excellent spirit was at work in him. You are not the first to be intellectually supported by the spirit of God. There were Hebrew boys who were ten times better. Ten times better. Let me pray for you now.
Father, let this grace come upon your people. Let everyone under the sound of my voice, by the privilege of this grace, by the, mis the ministry of this angel of the Lord's presence, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, that everyone under the sound of my voice, at the count of three, may this grace come upon you. May it follow you. May it produce results. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace in business. Supernatural business. Supernatural ministry. Kaparos Ketegetebata. Signs. Signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Let those that have hitherto Rakatos Ketebreketekata. I command those gates be open hither and tita. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open hither and tita. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night, manifest the supernatural. For many of you who are in ministry here, I anoint you. Go back to your pulpits. Let fire begin to fall upon your altars in unusual proportions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has been happening in your life by a natural sequence, we place grace upon it and we command in the name of Jesus. Quantum leaps, geometric proportions of results. Where you have been praying naturally, I place grace upon you. May your ministry of prayer step into a supernatural dimension. May your ministry of word study step into a supernatural dimension. There are many of you here. God has called you into the healing ministry. But as it is, you have not really seen that dimension. The tangibility of the healing oil. It has not come upon you. I open this jar in the realm of the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, like Samuel unto David, I place that oil upon you. Receive that grace now. Young and old, man of God, woman of God, prophet, apostle, pastor, intercessor, receive that grace. I release you into a strange healing ministry in the name of Jesus. We have a financial series coming, but let me pray over your finances. Can I be sincere with you? There is such a thing called supernatural finances. There really is such a thing. Parasco de Shalatos Kadebrande Kaprahaskia. Krakatapaka Rosasigeteperetusia. The mystery of the raven that brings bread for Elijah at Brook Cherry. The mystery of the five loaves and two fish that can feed 5,000. There is supernatural finances. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From today, in the name of Jesus, I measure a thousand cubits by grace. I push you into a deeper level of supernatural finances. Provide value at a supernatural dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. For many of you, you have been making progress, but the progress is too slow relative to your destiny. In the name of Jesus, just help those under the anointing. My goodness. Hear me. 
wherever you should have been but because you did not have the supernatural advantage you have not arrived here yet i stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name of jesus between now and the end of september please hear me i stand as touching the god of my covenant go forward go forward i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ help them please go forward in the name of jesus christ go forward go forward go forward in your career go forward in business go forward in ministry go forward can i be sincere with you this is the church of the lord jesus christ one of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress i pray for you again whatever has made the pace of your acceleration slow the same grace that came upon elijah and made him to run and overtake the chariots of ahab may that grace come upon you right now and every force that we want to fight this prophecy in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace he has given us the key of david the key that opens a door that no man can shut and can shut a door that no man can open we open that door and it remains open day and night we open that door it remains open day and night by the mystery of the key of david that door will never be shut day or night in the name of jesus I'm going to read these spirits there are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah. I'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up I'm going to count three listen for those people please I want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please I want you to believe it at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place i decree and i prophesy that at the count of three as you shout jesus may the fire of god bring a separation between you and those influences one get ready two three shout jesus out of them now i cast every devil in the name of jesus and they shall cast out devils i command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances i command in the name of jesus that they come out of their hiding place in the name of jesus bring them out spirits of ancestry territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position that refuse to let them rise i come against you in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i'm seeing a sword and i know that sword is the word of god i cursed by that sword let there be a separation that every force tying anyone's destiny you're going to shout jesus again at the count of three 
be ye lifted, all ye ancient gods. One, two, three. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Release their destinies. You are the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. These hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit, many of you will feel physical fire on your hands. There will be a strange deliverance. That's why anything you do does not work. No matter if it's a business, it will fail. If it's a relationship, it will fail. Anything you lay your hands, there is a spirit that steals your joy. But right now, I challenge and I attack that spirit. Let the fire of God, right now at the count of three, separate you from that influence. One, two, three. Let them go now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Cover us with your wings of bad luck the yoke of bad luck the yoke of bad luck i break it now the yoke of bad luck receive i'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck I break you free from the yoke of Bango in the name of Jesus. Bad luck. It works well for others until you come. And then something strange just happens. All those under the anointing here, I arrest this spirit and at the count of three, every devil you will touch your load and every trouble you have brought to these destinies and go. I speak as one sent by the anointing. At the count of three, leave one, two, three, go, 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 out of their lives, out of their destinies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so glad to pray for the sick. Nata ukaka sunanka upangi chika isaya. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. I hear a name Janet. Janet. There's, there's no time we have Janet please don't enjoy anybody are you Janet stand up I had the name Janet please don't tell lies don't embarrass yourself if you are not Janet go back Janet
Where are you from? In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I will pray for you. Huh? Look at me, look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing like oil come upon you. And God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy by the Spirit over you. 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 all of you standing here for time's sake i'm going to pray for you one of you um the power of god is going to come on one of you the moment that happens i'll pray for everybody i'm seeing one person one of you the lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person not only is god bringing personal spiritual revival to you god is opening doors of opportunity lord where is that one person i decree and declare when that one person is identified and then I just pray for all of you in general I'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are and the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter and just around that vicinity of the media I stretch my hands may the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus like a mighty rushing wind rest upon the individuals within that vicinity in the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, whoever that one person is, may that anointing and that grace come upon you. You will never, 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 never be the same. The power of God will come upon that one person. The moment that happens, then I'll pray for everybody. It's just the instruction God is giving me. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands towards all of you. By faith and in the spirit, I declare. For whatever reason it is that God brought you out here, I declare. I place the word of God upon your situation. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. This lady wearing dark, come. God bless you. You can go back to your seat, all of you. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Where are you coming from? Asaba. From Asaba. Yes, the Lord is saying, I should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Amen. Oh, this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Step into it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. your banner we shine your light so we see honor of you Lord we raise your banner we shine your light so bright we see honor of you Hallelujah Ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are 
in the name of Jesus, may the fire of the Holy Spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online, let there be complete emancipation for such people. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, this lady wearing pink, lift your hands. Look at me, shout Jesus as loud as you can. I'm seeing the Lord take something out of your body. We're about to pray for the sick. But the Lord is taking something out of your body. That's why I told you to shout that name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, our time is gone. We're going to be very, very fast. Are we together? Um, if you are trusting God, listen carefully. Whether you are in overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. If what you have, please listen. If what you have is a terminal disease, a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence. Are we together? Like a death sentence. You know what I mean? I don't have to mention names. Please, whether you are in overflow one, two, three, be fair, be honest. I will want to minister by myself to you. Now, number two, those in here, you can come out and you're trusting God for healing for you or for your loved ones. Overflow one, please to your projector stand. Overflow two, same thing to your projector stand. Overflow three to your projector stand. So if you do not belong to this category that I particularly requested to come, please, God is here. Make sure you are sincere. Make sure you are honest. I'd like all of you to come stand. I'm about to minister and there will be men and women of God scattered across those by the roadside I don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of God ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening ushers pr department please join them uh, and then if, if, if there's a need for that, maybe the protocol department can help. Let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately. We'll be very fast, please, um, dear people of God. Let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um, finish up on time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you standing here, I want you to believe there is a God in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i'll just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly Those online connect by faith. Stretch your hands here and let's pray. Father, we decree and we declare. We just have a minute for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Libra Skadabrando Shari Katosia brother. The same way we are standing on these requests in the name of Jesus. This is establishing your dominion above every challenge, above every situation, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, every impossible situation here, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. We turn it around, believe, believe, believe. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. This is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us. A representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have, we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this. And I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness, that this that you have dropped here before the Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you have brought it before him, it will never, if it's a tragic situation, it will never return to you again. And if it is a request that must appear in your life, then I decree and declare. I don't know how it will happen. Like the prophet said, you may not see wind. You may not see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water. I prophesy, I decree and declare. In the name that is above all names, by the God of all grace, your answer will find its way to your life. Even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you, may my God make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, that you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, even before this month is over, in the name of Jesus, you will tick your list one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. In the name of Jesus, we decree it so by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree it so by the blood of the Lamb. We decree it so by the word of God. We establish it. It is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you now. This will be um the first time we're doing this in a miracle service for the year why do i round up the services with a prophetic word because i believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of god comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word. People's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again. Let me tell you, do you know that I listen to the miracle service messages myself and I receive all the prayers from the man of God? Just because I'm the vessel being used by God does not exempt me from receiving too. I listen to the messages and God is my witness. I follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely. Are we together now? So believe this and you will see it work in your life. It is only what you believe that will work. Are we together? Favor like never before. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this night, may he follow you like a shadow follows a man. I say it again, favor like never before from tonight. May he follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange favor, strange favor, activating possibilities in your life. Strange favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every overdue issue in your life, an issue that has stayed long, beyond necessary in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life may my God the God of all grace establish and settle you in every area in the name of Jesus Christ 
every long standing issue comes to an end now everything that misrepresents you before your helpers the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gain say nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom receive this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of jesus christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of god will be evident on your life i stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry let there be a baptism of that anointing now for every leader here let there be a baptism of that anointing now everyone due for promotion your place of work or your standing in for your your loved ones i decree and declare we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of jesus christ the spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year you will die during election you will die during this and that a crisis will happen and you'll be a victim of this i silence the voice of that spirit now i decree and declare whether by road whether by air whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death in the name of jesus may you be too late for tragedy if it will cause shame you will not be found there if it will cause pain you will not be found there in the name of jesus christ I decree that whatever it is you're involved with whether it's your career the works of your hands your business whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence to bless people and to empower you in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it Some of you at the beginning of the year your prayer life is already down it's too early your word life already down no appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil there is a difference between slumber and sleep one of the differences is control there are some of us even if you sleep by two in the afternoon you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up it's a spirit i curse it from your life now. you will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ god has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to say this 
they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo I decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow in the name of Jesus Christ no one connected to this grace no one connected to this vision goes down financially and I pray for you those of us who have little groups ministries fellowships that were helping and building other believers and for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pegged at a level nothing new nothing fresh i decree after this miracle service step into a new order of spiritual operation whatever needs to be restored in your life before february restoration restoration to bring back i command it to your life now in the name of jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of god may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment whatever it is that you have asked the lord that i have not mentioned here but is a desperate desire in your heart i release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me in the name of jesus let it be turned to your testimony two more prayer points may the spiritual fire on your altar the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we find your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies May your loved ones have the same experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we glorify you. We bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm walking in the reality of every prophetic word. Thank you. I receive every grace. I receive every word in the name of Jesus. Arise from these ashes. It's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are. Micah 2 10. Give it to us, please. Ah. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. This is a prophetic word for someone. It just came to my spirit now. Read it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? One to read arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction 
if you remain at that level it will destroy you arise it is not your rest this is not your place you are an eagle stop dwelling around with chickens in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute lord i arise i arise it's time to arise this is not my rest i arise i depart from this level I arise in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, I arise. Financially, I arise. As touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit, I arise. Someone pray. This is not my rest. This is not my rest. I refuse to settle for less. Man of God, pray. Thank God for what God has done. So find your ministry, but this is not your rest. Evangelist, pray. This is not your rest. Prophet, pray. Politician, pray. This is not your rest. Professional, pray. This is not your rest. Please pray. This is a miracle service. You are praying yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God, what I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. listen listen look up everybody what does it take to live where you are to the next level on the part of god power on your part anger and hunger two things anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season if you are not angry enough you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough, you cannot be filled. Man of God, you will remain at that level of the anointing. Praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed. It won't work that way. The nations won't place a demand upon you that way. That is the honest truth. Professional. Uh-uh. Not at that level. Someone is going to pray. Father, I am tired of this level. I am both angry at this level. Thank you for this level. But Lord, I know that I am overdue. When a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb, he calls for concern. When a baby stays in his mother's womb, if it is before nine months, that's fine. The baby has to be patient. But above nine months, doctors will tell us there is a problem. Lift your voice and pray. Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Oh, 
Shata branda gata katosko to fresh. Ela kata branda zagata shkali kaposka sine kata. Manda praka toshko to plati kete prestiya. Power of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. When God answers your prayer, how does He answer it? By giving you power. God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Listen carefully, please. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you? I know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and I knew the change. When we started this work, you see, and I say this with every sense of responsibility and humility, as at the time this work started, this thing called the power to get wealth was not there. There were ideas. I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources. And I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread. Not with them. There are people who have the hearts to give. Listen, something is about to fall here right now. That's why I wanted to listen. I remember praying and studying. I had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache. You are causing trouble. The design, they are all drugs. You go to a doctor, a professional, and he will diagnose you. Oh, you have malaria. He will give you the drugs for malaria. Even if you have malaria and another sickness, most times doctors will choose which one to treat first. 
when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but i want you to be angry know that god is able to help men you are ebenezer ah. you are ebenezer this i know about the helper of men you are Ebenezer, you are Ebenezer. Listen, you are Ebenezer, the lifter of men. You are Ebenezer. God can help men stop struggling alone. You are. Ebenezer, you are Ebenezer. I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace for God's sake come upon my life and also come upon this vision the power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry you will prosper while the ministry suffers the power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you the ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising can I tell you this when that grace came with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has helped the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family. You saw people educated to PhD, but they could not build a single house. That is a wicked spirit. When your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards, something is wrong with that equation. And then number two, we are going to pray that God will move us. Do you know, let me tell you this any sincere man of god who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank god for all of that but that is not really the testimony i'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying i came from a family with nothing serving idols and now i am on fire for jesus loving jesus and see what god has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people god has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony but to know that god's people are growing in leaps and bounds can i tell you Man of God, this may be a secret for you to learn. When there are genuine testimonies, not stage managed, not exaggerated, genuine workings of God's power in your ministry, it is impossible for that ministry to be empty. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's stable land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet. Oh. 
on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you. Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. It will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you. That is usually the condition. If the nations will see him through your greatness, if the nations will know him through your greatness, then there is no limit to what he can do. If that greatness will not bring pride, arrogance, Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said, sir, God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you. It's our covenant with God. Anywhere on earth across the globe, for as long as this company exists, just know that anywhere you see us building an estate, I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world. If, if you tell me the power to prosper does not work, think again. Hallelujah. I remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said, Apostle, God said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company. What for? What do you people do? This and that and that and that. This is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences. Believe me when I tell you. What it takes to run one koinonia service. You've never seen anybody come here to cry, to manipulate, to say this and that. You see, when God sends a word to Jacob, he lights upon Israel. We are not the inventors of these things. We also received it from the carriers. He said, go to them that sell and buy. Hallelujah. Our world today only wants people to brag. Once you are bragging and making noise, doing a lot of things, aha. But once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty, sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict. That every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes, this ministry will not know poverty. Just believe me when I tell you. No, 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 no. It's not a prayer point. I'm telling you what has happened. It will only be from glory to glory. It's not pride. Please, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant. I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night.
apostle i'm coming from a background where nobody knows me apostle right now as i'm standing here i'm in debt of one billion five hundred million fine rest you are not the first to get into debt please there are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and god brought them out find rest can i tell you for anyone who is owing here business is not what you use to solve debt prophecy go and read your bible every time you are in debt let me save you trouble it's not doing another business that will bring you out it is the power of prophecy alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you so you do what you do we need a more hallelujah at the count of three we are going to pray in fact please my people hold your hands let me start with you people this is my dear leaders look at me in the name of jesus may this power to prosper come on you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus be shifted to a new level mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth even by the power of god now i decree and declare at the count of three i want you to shout jesus please bring those under the anointing some of you come from families where nobody has risen my god is about to lift you are you ready now father may this anointing this man to come upon your people please bring them out at the count of three one two three shout jesus take that grace now take that grace now bring them out please take that grace now i lift you by prophecy from where you are i shift you to a new season please help those my god please whether you're an usher or not just help the ushers we have to hurry up now someone's life is changing i don't care what financial situation by the power that raised christ from the dead such as i have give i unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can't bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my god is lifting you hallelujah where's jimmy please arrange for him to come and sing that song the lifter of men just the chorus david damn you help whether it's a guitar or whatever if the keyboardist cannot play let someone help him very quickly please please bring them out quickly them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you
Hear me. Hear me. Some of you, by reason of this anointing, I'm seeing at least 13 people. At least 13 people. At least 13 people. Your destiny is not even in this country. This is what I'm seeing as God is showing me. Right now, that anointing is going to come upon you. Don't ask me how it will happen. Parande shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy. Go to your place of prophecy. Go to your place of destiny. I pick you up from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. and whichever region where your prosperity is tied I shift you by prophecy go to that region now I release you let the limitations leave you now can I tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation, but your destiny is in this nation. You are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty, there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place. I relocate you back to your place of assignment. Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned. Some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on hear me i want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble what's the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the god of heaven who can lift you i prayed for your spiritual life and i'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble, but you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally corporately ministries that are owing and are in trouble businesses that are owing and are in trouble individuals that are owing and are in trouble in the name of jesus christ come out of that debt now come out of that debt now by the ministry of destiny help us 
come out of that dead now. Hallelujah. There are spirits that have moved from family to family, ensuring everybody remains poor. A family of everyone educated, nobody working. Everyone educated, nobody. The highest salary may be 20,000. Yes, we are grateful, but that cannot be enough. Now I want to pray. Fire will come upon you. God is going to set you free. Because there are many, hear me. Your salvation tonight is not just for you alone. It's for your family members. There are many of you, I decree and declare, any family here under a spiritual yoke, maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles. Right now at the count of three, please bring them under the anointing. As you shout Jesus, that altar will catch fire now. Please bring them out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I break financial yokes. Please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help us under the anointing. Every spirit outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I release myself from every embargo someone pray I decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father it tied down my grandfather it tied down wicked people i am a righteous man in christ and i decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant i appropriate my healing and my deliverance One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services Garnish with excellence and serve to a, a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. That is one dimension. But then the other is called favor. I want to show you how God restored Job. Job 42 verse 10. My light will soon reveal You are the lifter of men The lifter of men I will hold on through the storm. This is for someone. I will hold on through the rain. My life will soon reveal you 
you are the lifter of men. Lifter of Sing it one more time as a prophecy. That I will hold on to the storm. Uh, I will hold on to the wind. My life will soon be filled. You are the lifter of men. The lifter of men. Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice or will there ever be whose situation is worse than that of Job. Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. Thank God for that, but we want to know how it happened. Are you ready? Next verse. Verse 11. <laughs> read with me if you are a Christian. One, two, read. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you seeing how God restored him? Number one, then came to him all his brethren. Every next level and finances you are trusting God for is in the hands of men. Until the men come, you cannot get what is in their hands. It says, then there came unto him. Where were they when he was crying? The Bible says God turn. So how does God turn? He places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming. There came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before. They were the ones that made him prosper before. That means how did poverty come to his life? Something was taken away from him and everybody left physically. How did God restore it? Something came. I'm, I'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now. Please read it. Are you ready? One, two, read. Then came there unto him all his brethren, uh -huh, and all his sisters, and they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him, and comforted him over all the evil, that the Lord had brought upon him. Now here's the secret. Read. And every man. How many men? There is something that comes on you. That makes every man bless you. Not just those who do business with you. Every man. Every man. Read on please. One to go. Every man also gave him a piece of money. And everyone an earring of gold. Can I tell you this? Some of you have gone through serious financial hardship. God organized this miracle service to bring financial healing. To bring financial deliverance. And I'm showing you how it happened. Because we are going to pray now. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. These are men anointed, commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny. Not everyone is a destroyer. There are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around. Who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came. It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Every man gave him a piece of money. Every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level i declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you have been. Pray.
Please pray. I will hold on through the storm. I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change. You are the lifter of men. The lifter of men. Lord, I will hold on to the storm. I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men. Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. I submit to you by God that there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you. Nobody will come and lift you on their own. I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows, outside, I am praying, Paracosia, Lord, the grace that must rest upon them, that will compel the helpers of destiny, to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now in the name of say father I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life over my destiny I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. Shabakatos katabranta you have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers 
tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made the father is satisfied Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste life's resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster, the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity I challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the Lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre here. Makapranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft 
and powers in the heavens I decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my face in life my space in destiny I take my place in life I take my place in destiny never will it be said Adam where are you I take my place Aleda kaparu kadesh na kapranda kaparekesh e protosko to prandi gebalia kapra kapara kotosko to prande gebale gebia Hallelujah Hallelujah Self time in the name of Jesus patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God I sanctify my dreams I sanctify my visions I sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare sanctification the devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you the devil will not manipulate you with visions lying visions Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gata bereka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant I curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the God of heaven Ebra capereto soso soba, kebrande kapa, e kroto soto prete kelikata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now I declare, anyone here, who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head apparatus sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus 
Causes be broken now. Causes, please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them for sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanatasani kaparatusia every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire or oh, patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire God fire, God fire by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I declare in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now hear me anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakatoskata i set it on fire now i set it on fire now Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now.